Hello everybody. As forecasted, we got a few inches of snow last night. I shoveled the driveway and the walkway uh, earlier. I'm guessing we got between three and four inches of snow. And so we're gonna go for a ride, a very short ride. Um, I mentioned that my car and the Spider both fit in my tiny little single car garage, but I've got to back the Spider in and wedge it in. So there's no way I can pull a car out without pulling the Spider out. That's a pain, but it's gonna be a pain for only a few days longer when I sell that car and this will be the only vehicle in this garage and I cannot wait, but let's go for a ride. That clunk that you just heard, those of you who have a spider know about the clunk, but uh, it is unsettling, but it's only for the first shift every time you ride it. Um, even when you go in reverse, uh, that clunk is just part of the deal. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, my plan is not to go snowmobiling on the Spider ever. And so this test is not, you know, is it going to be like a ski do for me? I know that's not the case. The question is, can I, the question is, can I go to the grocery store? or to run an errand or go to a restaurant or go to a coffee shop on a day like today. And we get lots of days like this in Western New York. Now I'm fortunate that I live in Niagara Falls where we don't get a ton of snow. If I lived an hour south of here and what's called the Buffalo South Towns, um, I could never do what, what I'm doing um, because there'd be just too many days when I'd be snowed in. Um, but a day like today, if I have to go out, I don't have to take an Uber to get to the grocery store. I can tell that already the way this is maneuvering. Um, I don't have to, you know, rent a car. I can get around. Now, this is pretty much um, just wet pavement. I can tell just by looking at it. It's not frozen. It's not um, slick, really, other than just what, a, like, other than what it would be if it rained. But the side roads, so we're going to just, uh, without... Okay, the side roads have not been plowed, and that's almost perfect. Um, I can feel it sliding. The rear wheel just kind of fishtail a little bit without me trying to. As I mentioned in another video, I've seen other spider riders ride in the snow, but you can tell they were trying to get it. They were having fun, basically. I'm trying to test this out on what it would be like on uh, a day, I don't want to say a typical day in Western New York, but a day that happens often in Western New York. And I think that this is gonna work. So we've got some traffic here. You can't tell, but this is a slight incline that I'm about to go up from a stop um, when this, these cars pass. So we'll see what it's like. Um, am I gonna be mo immobilized and stuck here all day spinning around? Or am I gonna just slowly, carefully roll out? And it looks like it's that. I can feel the rear wheel spinning. Um, although no traffic control warnings are coming on because it's just barely spinning. Hey. I can handle that. One of the things I've noticed as I'm editing my videos, and um, and there, there you go, I just did it again. I say um a lot. And I don't think I do that as a, uh, I, there you go again, as a practice just when I'm speaking. I think it's because I'm like multitasking here, obviously. I'm trying to ride the vehicle, still kind of learning the vehicle, trying to do that safely. All the while, um, there you go, I just did it again. Narrating these videos off the cuff. These are not scripted rides. Uh, I guess I just can't help myself, I did it again. I know when I'm leaving the house to go shoot a video, I know that the overall topic for the video is gonna be, thank you for seeing me, the overall topic of the video is gonna be such and such, we're gonna just turn in here, but I don't have it scripted out. I know the topic's gonna be, okay, we're gonna go see Niagara Falls. Whoop, a little fishtail there. I see something going on just above the speed. You can't see it now, but there was a warning light. I think that must've been a traction control light. It did not immobilize the vehicle. One of the things I'm petrified of is getting that limp mode deal and i'm gonna ride this thing cautiously in these conditions to avoid that but i did see you might not have seen it um i, I did there i go with the um again i did see the, the, the there you go there you go it just happened again see that i i hope you can 
again we're moving from a stop no no worries no traction control light there one of the things I love about the spider is how the directionals automatically turn off because on my motorcycles I would often forget to do that and it drives me crazy when I'm behind someone who's got their directionals when they're obviously not turning so I'm glad that uh, the spider has that there are a couple of occasions where you have to turn it but but that's very went in a very subtle turn but for the most part that's a great feature of this vehicle the other feature regarding directionals that i love about this is it's got the dual directionals and what i mean by that is i'm about to turn onto my street i'm about to turn on the left directional signal and you can see it's just the left signal blinking and not both signals which i which i really like Okay, that, I said this was going to be a short ride. It is a short ride. It's, it's going to be an easy ride to edit because there's not much to edit. When I say edit, I just mean cut out the fat. Uh, and there I go again with the uh. So I, I'm, I don't ev edit these heavily because I try to shut off the camera when I'm not uh, in a position where I'm shooting video that you might want to see or saying something that you might want to hear. So I'm pulling into my driveway and I think I'm gonna cut it off here. Thank you very much.